Many regard Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as one of the greatest cartoons ever made. The animation was well done, and we can only imagine the amount of time the creators spent to put this all together. No matter how talented, any artist can make a mistake, especially when they're putting in so many hours a day. Ninja Turtles is full of errors. The most minor mistake occurs for only a few frames. For example, the top of a turtle's head will momentarily disappear, or the top of their head will change color. In this scene, the turtles aren't supposed to be wearing their masks, but you can still see the outlines of their masks. Many times, the turtles wear the wrong colors. Here, you can see all their bandanas are correct, but Raphael and Leonardo's masks are switched. Sometimes, all their masks are the same color. In this shot, half the mask is their skin color. In this shot, Michelangelo's neck is colored in, almost like he's wearing a scarf. Even Splinter looks confused. It's as if every combination of every possible thing that could go wrong has happened. Lots of times, it's not the animation that's the problem, but the voices are wrong. Like totally bizarro. Sometimes two characters will actually swap. Here, we have Leonardo talking in Donatello's voice and Donatello speaking in Leonardo's voice. Torpedo approaching dead ahead! Ugh. Did you have to use the D word? Sometimes they act as ventriloquists and talk without moving their mouths. I'm glad they didn't leave you at home. Where's Michelangelo? Sometimes a turtle will have the wrong weapon. Like here, we have Donatello with Michelangelo's weapon and Raphael with Michelangelo's weapon. Other times, the weapon will be missing altogether. Here, we have Raphael. Clearly, he has both sides. But in the next shot, the sides have mysteriously vanished. Sometimes, one character's body will overlap another character. Some of these aren't exactly animation mistakes, but they're just plain weird. The turtles wear rubber masks as a disguise, but why does the mouth move? Those are some expressive masks, though I can accept it's being worn by a mutant turtle. In the episode, The Four Musket Turtles, they take off their musketeer costumes by simply peeling them from their bodies. Throughout the series, I've counted almost a hundred mistakes. From these, I'm going to pick out the ones I find the most unique and hilarious. This is Cinemassacre's Top 20 Turtle Flubs. Number 20. In the second episode, the turtles fight Bebop and Rocksteady. Leonardo dives in with his katana blade and, wait a minute, all of a sudden he's wearing red bandanas. Then another turtle jumps in with red bandanas. We can clearly identify him as Raphael because of the letter R on his belt and his size. But then another Raphael rolls into the frame. Did he teleport from screen left to screen right? How did that happen? Number 19, this is a continuity error. In this shot, the window is obviously shut and now it's open. Number 18, inconsistent backgrounds. Notice the cream store. In the next shot, the sign changes. Now they're selling grain. Maybe the cream went out of stock in the flash of a second. Number 17, this is so weird. It took me a little while to figure out what the mistake is. At first, it seems like there's a tree branch that wasn't fully painted, but actually, I think the entire background is missing. The tree branch is a cell. Had the background been there, there would have probably been some foliage behind it. Number 16, Shredder is talking to Krang on his communicator when suddenly, Krang disappears. At first, I didn't think there was anything too strange about this. I figured Shredder was turning off the communicator, so naturally Krang was fizzling out into static. But his bubble walker is still there. Only Krang disappeared. Hmm. Number 15, did Michelangelo shrink in size? He's about half April's height. You catch on so fast. Number 14, Leonardo starts speaking in Donatello's voice. A pretty common mistake, but very rarely do you see the voice change back in the same shot. It's unstable. It's a good thing none of us tried that stuff. Number 13, this episode starts out in the sewer den with the Turtles and Splinter watching a TV news broadcast from April O'Neil. What's Splinter's problem? He looks angry. He looks really angry. It's the most pissed off he's ever been, but there's no reason for it. This is the beginning of the episode. There's no context. I guess right before the episode started, somebody rubbed him the wrong way. Number 12. Whoa, dude, look at that hand. Number 11. Here we have a strange continuity error. The turtles drive the turtle van off a bridge. Well, about a minute later, 
April O'Neil is driving the van. So are there two different turtle vans? No, they just really screwed up. Number 10. In this shot, Leonardo dashes toward a mutated April O'Neil to remove a thought-controlling collar from her neck. It's clearly supposed to be Leonardo, but as he takes out his katana blade, we can briefly see an orange headband. Not so bad, but in just a few seconds, everything goes wrong. Leonardo is now in purple, has Donatello's letter D on his belt, and to top it all off, starts speaking in Donatello's voice. Well, let's just say for a while there, you were catatonic. Leonardo has transformed 100% into Donatello, except for his katana blade. Number nine. This is one flubbed up shot. How many things can you spot wrong? Well, first, Michelangelo speaks like a ventriloquist. Yeah, like what's the haps? Then, as they walk across the room, Raphael's bandana is turned blue. I'm beginning to think the mutagen makes the turtles highly unstable. Number eight. What's going on here? April and Irma are speaking, but without moving whatsoever. The turtles! Oh, thank goodness! Hang on! In fact, nothing in this shot is moving. It's a still frame. Either it's an attempt at being lazy, or the original animation is missing. Number seven. Michelangelo's mouth is moving, but there's no voice. I wonder if they cut his lines because it was inappropriate. Like maybe he said something really perverted to that kid. This is a weird shot. He's driving a tiny car down a staircase into a basement. I can't quite explain it, but there's something very odd about this whole thing. Number six. Why does Shredder make that pose? It's like he's farting. I can't think of any other reason. <laughs> Number five. I love this one. April has a bobblehead. <laughs> Number four. This is a really bad continuity error. Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady are in a boat. A giant squid grabs Rocksteady and pulls him out of the boat. Now to tame the beast. Keep watching. What the hell? Where's Bebop? Instead, it's Rocksteady. A few moments later, we see him again in the squid's tentacle, where he's supposed to be. Number three, more still frames. Just watch. See what I mean? I like how they managed to capture the most ridiculous facial expression Irma's ever made. Out of all the still shots they could have used, it happens to be this. Number two, three of the turtles are hanging onto a giant gorilla's leg. Watch this. What happened? He took off Michelangelo to reveal another Michelangelo? The animators must have been putting in some serious overtime not to have noticed this. And finally, number one. In this scene, there's some kind of carnival going on. But there's one thing out of place. What's the deal with the skeleton? There's no way that can be a costume. You can see right through the ribs. It's a real skeleton. It's creepy. This is the only shot where you ever see it. You never find out where it came from, and none of the characters ever notice it. That's not all. Just before the camera pans over, we can see a tiny little bear. I guess it might be a kid in a costume, but... No, I'm thinking it's just a random bear. This shot must be the strangest shot in the history of Ninja Turtles. It's not exactly an animation mistake, but it sure is an anomaly. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a great show, but man, does it have a lot of weird stuff. <laughs>